I'm Corinne LaPointe, Investigating Officer with WorkSafe BC. Before you start a job, make sure a hazard assessment and a job plan have been done. That didn't happen at this well site. Instead, the workers improvised. Things went terribly wrong. A truck driver arrived with a load of concrete barriers. He'd been told that there would be a picker truck for offloading, but there wasn't one. Instead, just before the truck arrived, an excavator operator on the site was directed by his supervisor to offload using this excavator. With no proper lifting attachment on site, the two workers improvised with what was on hand. The truck driver had some tie-down chains, so he rigged them above the excavator bucket and around the two grooves beneath a barrier. When the excavator lifted the barrier, one chain slipped out of its groove. The truck driver waved to the excavator operator to stop and to lower the load so he could reposition the chains. The operator couldn't hear what the driver was saying, so with the load suspended, he engaged the safety lockout lever. This disabled the operating controls, preventing the excavator and boom from moving. He then exited his cab and talked to the driver. As the operator climbed back into the excavator, his pant leg snagged the safety lockout lever, releasing it. This enabled the controls. His left pocket then snagged a joystick. The excavator's boom suddenly swung. The barrier glanced off the driver's chest, dipped down, and then struck his lower leg, knocking him off the flat deck. The barrier then slipped from the chains and crashed onto the flat deck. This accident didn't have to happen. Safety activities must be coordinated on multiple employer work sites. Here, the work among the different employers was not coordinated. The pre-job planning was inadequate. Employers must perform a risk assessment, identify hazards, and implement safe work procedures. Don't start a job until the proper equipment and procedures are in place. The supervision was also inadequate. Supervisors must inform workers of hazards and regularly check that workers are doing their jobs safely. Although an excavator can be used to lift barriers, a picker truck or forklift provides better control. With a picker truck or excavator, use an engineered lifting device. Most precast concrete suppliers have specialized barrier lifts available for loan. Never leave the controls of lifting equipment while a load is suspended and keep a safe distance from the load. The driver's leg was fractured so badly that part of it had to be amputated. Don't improvise, plan ahead and stay safe.